so maybe about 2008, yeah, 2008, where the Lord wasn't my choice, but the Lord started to uh, take me to places in hell, which was not my choice. Wow. I mm. actually fought him on that because I was like, I don't want to go. You can just tell me, just tell yeah. me about it, you know, but he wanted me to go because he was taking me to places in heaven and mm. other spiritual realms where he said, I want you to see the dark realm as well. And so I repeatedly saw um, an angel who would take me and then it later trans uh, transitioned to Jesus. But for a while, it was an angel who had a, a white hood. He looked kind of like, oh, he looked kind of like the guy from, I don't know if anyone's played like Assassin's Creed. Assassin's yeah. Creed. Yeah. yeah yep. With the hood and the knife. Uh -huh. under, like he had these hidden knives and such. And he was not very friendly. He was very like, you know. Uh, yeah. You know, we're going for a purpose. If anything touches you, I'm going to kill it. You know, and I just was like, hey, that's the, nice. just, just keep me OK, bro. Yeah. You know, yeah. so <laughs> you've been repeated. Um, yeah, where I've seen um, angels of uh, come to me again and again. And uh, and we talk yeah. and they do things. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. that's really interesting because there's that whole, you know, it, we always hear about guardian angels. And, mm -hmm. and do some people have like one guardian angel that just goes Oh, follows them through life or mm -hmm. watches over them through life or mm -hmm. does that ch do, do the guardian angels like change as you go through different seasons yeah, is it, of your life or is it like the military where you have details and yeah, like, like shifts oh, of angels yeah. yes that is such a great question yeah there are angels so there there's angels that are specifically in charge of the whole guardian process and that answers to michael so yeah. um michael's the top military dog so you know he's he's got things shifts under him but guardian angels are really special because their job is to go through life with you. So wow. all of your ups and your downs, you know, they are there with you. They are really more like a friend than just military. Yeah. Um, they watched you since you were born and they were, wow. you know, wherever you are, when you came out of mommy's tummy, they were in the room, you know, <laughs> wow. you know they, they, they are so wonderful. My guardian angel, his name is Eden and he's been with me for a while. And, and, uh, you know, since I was born and, and he's awesome. He's great, but he is different from, um, ministry angels where there's angels who like, for example, you guys have a ministry angel that's mm -hmm. for what you do. And their job is to enhance your work, you know, uh, enhance what you do for the kingdom, but your oh, guardian right. angels, like looking after your heart, looking after your soul, you know, if yeah. there's demons that are coming at you, they're the first ones to go after it. And if they need assistance, they will ask for help. And that's happened too in my life where I was going through massive anxiety. I wasn't being attacked by a, a demon, you know, almost every night. And uh, Eden would wrestle him down and pin him down. And I would wake up because I would hear all the noise in my room. I'd wake Eden. up and I'd look over and there's Eden. Eden's huge. He's glamorous, like green and teal, like, you know, wings. And he's just muscle shirt, but he pins demons down <laughs> and like, <laughs> you know, it's awesome, you know, and I wake startled up and I look over and there's Eden and then he's, he points at me. He said, it's all right. Go back to sleep. I got it. I'm taking <laughs> care of it. And I'm like, okay. Ugh, and I fall asleep. You know, but there were times where some demons were strong and he needed assistance and uh, angels like fire and with spears that had thunder and lightning at the end of them would stand at the foot of my bed and Eden would stand by the door because he needed some assistance. You know, so they will wow. ask for that as well. Mm -hmm. Man, that is incredible. Man, that blows my mind just trying to mention that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. I don't yeah. even know how to follow that up. I don't even know. Like, I used to, uh, I used to like, a... sit in church back when I first started writing books and just like envision all that stuff. Yeah. And I was just kind mm -hmm. of figured it was probably just my imagination. But like mm -hmm. listening to Micah talk, I'm like, hmm. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know at this <laughs> point. <laughs> not dude, so sure I, anymore. You know. Dude, I have seen angels... This one, like, whoa, like freaked me out in a way, in a good way. But I've seen angels once uh, where they they were flying. So they were huge. Like, I mean, bigger than a building, build buildings um, flying in. And I'm at, a, at the park and I hear this low sounding like aircraft. And I'm thinking like, what in the world is that? Who would be flying this low? And yeah. I would see in the distance and it was this huge angel that had hair and fire coming off of its hair and it, its wings were like metallic and it was like you know and then it, yeah. it 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 like slowed down and then it just changed shape and it was this military angel with all these weapons on it and then he would look at me and he would say hello beloved they always mm -hmm. call me beloved and i'm like ah. You know, <laughs> like, yeah. oh my gosh. 
you know? And then he would just slowly flew off into the distance. And I'm like, man, dude, there's all kinds. And I'm thinking like, I was telling, wow. ask Holy Spirit. I said, Holy Spirit, what was that about? Where was he going? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, this is so cool. 